Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So this is video number four in our age domain case study series. The first video talks about me picking the domain. Then we set up the whole website. And my previous video was about keyword research. And this video series is sponsored by AudioIS and that's where I got my age domain from. And some of the domains that are currently on sale that I that I can personally vouch for are these ones here, like Real Spine Surgery, Campaign Enable, Yobotics, and Disaster Risk Reduction. So having said that, I have a confession to make. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is my stupidity. It's more of an oversight. I got so excited about this domain here that I totally forgot that it is in the YMYL niche. And if you Google something like what is for BX, you will see a lot of medical related websites with PhDs and doctors writing content. And I got bummed out when I found out this is indeed the YMYL niche. And uh, this video is about uh, two things. First off, me trying to pivot. I will not discard this experiment. The experiment goes as planned. And uh, basically, in the first part, I'll try to explain how I am planning on pivoting away from the YMYL. And the second part, which is going to be uh, smaller, uh, I'll be talking about my strategy going forward and what are the things, uh, what are some of the things that I have done uh, prior to publishing content and what are some of the things that I will be avoiding. So, if you followed my previous video, you might have noticed that the categories are slightly different now. The strictly speaking, the YL, YM niches are phobia types and dealing with phobias. These are how to questions and these are what is phobia X questions. And I thought long and hard about, that's what she said, about uh, picking other categories and subtopics that would pull me away from YM, YL. And I actually used ChatGPT and the newest browse feature along with Bing to brainstorm with AI. And this is what I came up with. So I'll be talking about phobia management. And so before you say that this is YMYL also, I'll be showing you the type of keywords that I'm going for. And I think you'll change your mind. Then I'll be talking about phobia support groups. Not a lot of information exists around support groups for different phobias. Then I'll be talking about the phobias within the pop, pop culture. So different characters in the movies, uh, books, theater productions, even going forward that have phobias and celebrity phobias as well. So like Jennifer Aniston has say this phobia, uh, Whoopi Goldberg has that phobia and so on and so forth. So this is how I am planning to kind of pivot and uh, get away from strictly YMYL and medical advice. Because that would require a huge EEAT effort and a lot of backlinks and domain authority. And this domain is around 20 domain authorities, so by no means a monster. So this is what I have prepared. If we scroll all the way down, you will see that I have 1,000, exactly 1,000 keywords that again are split in the categories that I just showed you. So as far as dealing with phobias and phobia, phobia types, these are self-explanatory. Uh, phobia support groups. What I did, I actually went uh, on ChatGPT and asked to compile a list of 50 most popular phobias. And then I just constructed a keyword that went like support groups for insuriophobia sufferers and a brief explanation of what the phobia is. So the first keyword would be support groups for arachnophobia sufferers which is fear of spiders. And I constructed, so these are these are not necessarily the current keywords that have volume and can be tracked, but these are constructed keywords uh, with the hope of uh, me ranking for those keywords. So the second category is phobia management. And yes, I do have some medical thingies like cognitive behavioral therapy, exposure therapy, and whatnot. But then you have virtual reality, group therapy, talk therapy, journaling, music therapy, yoga, tai chi, acupuncture, aromatherapy. So I basically came up with uh, as many different initiatives uh, as possible, like uh, spiritual healing, <laughs> firewalking even. 
and then again constructed the keywords in a way that it says can, then the initiative from the list, cure, and then phobia. So again, this is in the hopes in the hopes of getting extra traffic, and these keywords do not exist within Ahrefs or keyword Google Keyword Explorer. So I really I wouldn't say I'm nervous because I do feel that there will be some people uh, looking up stuff like like this. But this is again uh, synthesized keywords that I brainstormed. And then I'll just show you another category. So phobias from pop culture, that would be like what phobia does Scotty Ferguson have in Vertigo? What phobia does Brody have in Jaws? What phobia does Walter White have in Breaking Bad? That's the pop culture segment. And the celebrities is like what phobia does Keanu Reeves have and what phobia does Megan Fox have? Again, these, uh, these two clusters are based on existing movies and existing celebrities that are linked to certain phobias and fears. So these are not made up <laughs> compared to the support groups and the management clusters. But again, this is going to be a very fun experiment for me because strictly speaking, these two clusters are from Ahrefs and Keyword Explorer. This one is largely made up, so is this one, and these two are a mix. So these are a hybrid of the existing search queries and the search queries that I came up with. So this is, again, uh, to sum up, this is the how I'm planning on pivoting and getting away from strictly medical information for this website. Now, I will probably get ostracized and criticized for <laughs> some of these, but... I will. I will post 1,000 keywords or topics and I will drip feed them uh, at around 20 posts per day pace. So that's, that's, a, that's a promise. I will use AI generated featured images, AI images for all of the posts and I will be interlinking of the posts, but only when they are all published. And I'll be talking about that later, interlinking. And since this is a huge amount of posts, there are some things that I will not be doing. I will not be checking for AI scores, so no originality. I will not be checking for plagiarism and readability. <laughs> and this is controversial, but I figured I would just spend so much time uh, doing that, that it does make sense for me. So no plagiarism and no readability. Check. And I will not be formatting or editing my articles in any way, shape or form. Also, I will not be SEO optimizing the articles, even though I can. But at this scale, I think it's just going to take too much time and pull me away from my other projects. So no SEO. But having said that, once the posts start ranking and I will see which ones are high CPC, high volume, and those I will optimize. So those will be optimized via LSI and just standard on page SEO. And I may even redo the outlines because outlines are all going to be automatic as well. So auto outlines, number five, auto outlines. And I need to um, tell you that this is not the process that I follow for my personal website, which is trickmenot.ai. I'm very deliberate in the kind of copy that I'm producing. I am reading through every article. I'm reformatting. I'm spending a lot of time with outlines, so auto outlines. But you get the gist, this is auto outlines. I'm not saying this is the right way. I do not expect you follow this process. I think that's gonna be interesting for a couple of reasons. First, if we go back to my clusters, so some of these keywords are fetched with the Keyword Explorer or Keyword Research tools. And some of them are brainstormed, and I would say the ratio is 50-50. And the second reason, again, I am not editing, I'm not touching my articles. 
in any way, shape or form. I might once they start ranking and I see a very good article like uh, which is on the second page of Google, I might uh, do some touch ups here and there. But as a general rule, I'm not editing anything. And finally, and this is important, I will not be conducting experiments where I split 1000 posts into different AI copywriters. So all of this will be generated with autoblogging.ai. And as you remember, I have an exclusive discount that only our members can get. And if you want to get that discount, you just go to trickmino.ai. You go to recommended tools and there it is, 10% off. So you will not get this discount anywhere else. And this is part of the bulk generation service that Autoblogging has. So this is the package that I'm purchasing, $1,000 for 1,000 articles. There will be additional cost for interlinking and you need to be mindful of that. And if you go to the Autoblogging Facebook group, you can see a lot of cases. So the most recent one is from Julian Goldie who has posted a lot of articles with autoblogging with great results. And even the admin himself has been posting some amazing results. Let me see if I can find them. So this is basically the uh, ongoing case study and there have been more sites re reviewed since. But as you can see, there are a lot of websites that are earning money through AdSense. And you can even, if you go to this post here, you can even see the resume of the strategy that uh, the uh, owner of Autoblogging is adhering to to get these results. So build sites on expired domains, use AdSense, utilize AI generated content without manual editing. Automate content publishing, not worrying about perfect number of articles per day, automating images, allow for natural indexing of posts and this is controversial this is interesting because there are a lot of indexing services and i'm still on the fence i'm not sure if i will be myself using external indexing services or i will be just submitting through my sitemap through search console and then wait for the natural indexing to occur so yeah I invite you all to follow this experiment. Uh, all of the articles or the first batch of articles are very likely to get published on a Saturday or Sunday. And I will keep you posted. I will record a video once the first batch is through. And yeah, I'm excited. Hope you've learned something new today. Let me know if you have. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.